Well, good evening all. Um, we are back on the park. Um, <coughs> work's very, very busy at the moment. Doing six, six if not seven days at the minute a week. Will be for some time. Um, so yeah, we've just got to fit the fishing in when we can. Um, <coughs> so, I wanted to get out for a night. Um, didn't risk me other syndicate, come back on the park. Um, and literally just got the rods out, it's 25 past 8 um, yeah in the evening um, luckily it's quite it's, it's quite quiet to be fair um, for this lake at the minute um, managed to find a few fish down the shallow end uh, of the lake seen about 8 shows um, in the last sort of hour and a half I've been setting up um, yeah, wrists um, led it about slightly. Found a lovely spot. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a way out in the middle to be fair. It's probably six foot and then straight down to eight foot. I've got me rods, two rods on that on that area. Uh, and they're three foot apart in you know two two foot differentiation in the bottom. Um, so yeah. I say I was, when I was bombing there was, uh, there was a couple of show out there at the, out the back of the area probably sort of 10 15 yards past so got the bait out now put about 18 spawns out um, over an area big enough for me to get the third rod in if I need to I'll just put that round to the left at the moment um, they're all on um, slip bee rigs um, those of you that haven't seen the slip bee rig I use, um, it's, it is, there is a slip bee rig um, vlog on my channel. Um, yeah, and just literally um, fishing little bits of pop up over the top of sort of trimmed wafters um, over, you know, and, and spawning crumb and uh, corn over the top. So, yeah. You know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people love spring. Um, spring's a great time of the year if you can get out. Sadly, uh, the last few years, spring, although it's been good to me at times, I seem to struggle to get time in the spring um, through work. But, but that's life at the end of the day. You know, I'd have to say that winter's my favourite. To be fair, um, love me winter fishing. Um, and yeah, you know, the, 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 three, the three biggest um, carp have all been caught in the winter, so great time of the year. But yeah, we're out, we're having a go. And I've seen like fish, you know, what more can you ask for? Um, I'd like it to, well, you might be able to spawn some mixers out in a, in a little while um, and drift them through, but by the time I get them feeding, it'll be. Yeah, it'll uh, be too late to fish for them, I think. But the rods are in the water. Yeah, fishing at 14 and 3 quarter wraps. I wouldn't usually fish that range in this swim because it's sort of just over centre. It's probably why that, you know, that, that area I've downed out there. Uh, nice sort of gravelly bar type area. I've probably never found that before because it's sort of right smack in the centre or just over the centre of uh, this end. So, yeah, you could only but try. Rods are in the water, they're in play. It is absolute carnage like usual around the swim. Um, yeah, I've got to have a good sort out in a minute. But we're angling, that's the main thing, we're not working. I've uh, got tomorrow off, so plan is fish tonight through till about 10 tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then hopefully get out stalking in the afternoon. That'd be good. Yeah, and typically, you know, I didn't know where I was going to end up, end up parking up the other end of the lake. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, got a bit of a trek. Um, but what I'll do, I'll probably walk up that end uh, fishing with a good friend of mine, um, Cheddar. Uh, I'll probably end up leaving my gear with him and walking up the other end, grab my car, bring it round to this car park, or grab my van, bring it round to this car park, and uh, 
yeah, head off home, like I say, around about 10 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, got a couple of hours where I've got to do bits and pieces, but hopefully I can get out for the afternoon and do a bit of float fishing, but we we'll see, fingers crossed we can. But yeah, it's a lovely evening, I think I'm going to spend it under the stars, to be fair. See, definitely just see something else roll out there then. Hmm. And yeah, like I say, they're all, they're all I'm, I'm happy with all the rods. They're all sort of right in the shallows at the moment. That's, the fish I've seen seem to be over the back of where I'm, where I'm fishing, that's sort of on the other side. So. Quite pleased with how, they, how it all went. All we've got to do now is hope the carp play ball. But yeah, I shall enjoy a little bit of the social. You know, we're only going to get what probably it's going to end up being about 14 hours fishing, almost 15 hours fishing by the time I go home. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Nice and quiet down here, like I say, it's literally just me and Cheddar um, down this end of the lake. Uh, wind's been blowing down here all day as well, but it is quite an old wind now, so I don't know how many's out there. Like I say, I've seen about eight shows, so fingers crossed more piling later on. Um, but the lake's not busy, so it's not like they're under any sort of pressure anywhere, although it's the other end seems to have got a bit busier than it was, but we shall see. We shall see. I should get this carnage sorted out. I have a few cups of tea with me, old mate. Put the world to rights like we usually do. And have a good catch up. Fingers crossed, I'll be catching up with you guys. When is a fish on the bank? picture a bit. Well guys, not the intended species, but I'm pleased nevertheless. Um, I haven't caught a tench for a long time other than out the river, and they're all small ones up to about six pounds. But I thought, cool, my personal best tench is 814. And I've weighed this one thinking, quite oh, it's got to be nine. Ten pounds six. What a tinch it is as well. Look at the size of that. A huge, huge tinch. Ten pounds six ounces. What a creature that is. Yeah. I last had a big tench and actually weighed one when I was about 18, I suppose, maybe 20. That was 814. Look at the size of that, look at the thickness of it. Yeah, what an immaculate tench that is. I must say, yeah, I love me carp, but I've always loved tench. I used to fish for them as a boy. Look at that creature. now realise why I was getting lots of heavy liners. I'm thinking it was the carp and it was this big fella. <clears throat> what an incredible tench. Try and get the light off it a bit but that is unbelievable. What a tench. <laughs> right guys, that's enough of admiring him. Let's get him back. But yeah, very impressive creature. Just remember guys, you know, just because you 
you might not necessarily fish for a species. This is a specimen fish. Don't ill treat them, you know. Treat them with the utmost respect because what you don't like catching, someone else does. What an incredible fish that is. Well pleased with that. Personal best tench. Very quiet <coughs> after that tench last night. Yeah. <coughs> I think the few fish that were down here were uh, spooked out when I had that tench. It's been very quiet. I haven't s it's just gone six o'clock in the morning. I haven't seen a lot to be fair. I've seen anything. Um, yeah, no fizzing. Very quiet. And I was well pleased with that tent, that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, strangely quiet. It's definitely pushed out. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. Um, cup of tea with me mate Cheddar, um, go down and get the van at the other car park, bring it up to this one and then wrap up, wrap up as early as I can that way, um, if I get home and get some things done I should be able to get back out and do some surface fishing. With a bit of luck, but yeah, got a few few hours work to do first. So <clears throat> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed I can get back out later. But yeah, I definitely feel like I uh, got it wrong a bit last night. I know there was only a few here but I just expected more to come. I expected more to turn up in the night but they didn't. No, it went very strangely quiet. All the lines I was getting stopped after having that tench um, makes me think it was just that one or a, couple, or a couple of others or bream or... But yeah, like I said, as soon as I had that tench it all, it all subsided, so... Fish that were down here, the carp that were down here definitely dispersed if not seen sign of one. Still, the little wafter crumb Im imitation I put out certainly, certainly worked. Um, caught that big tench, but just a shame the cart didn't drop because uh, yeah, if they did, I'm sure we would have caught one. But the sun's getting up strong already this morning. Um, yeah, so it definitely looks like it'd be a good afternoon to get out for like fishing, that's for sure. I must try my best to get out. Oh, nearly hit by that bird there. <laughs> and yeah, it was a nice night under the stars last night. No bivvy up. Lovely. Just, yeah. A few hours I did get, about four hours. Uh, it was quite nice to be fair. But yes, it's getting awfully bright. I've got a real serious problem with frowning. I do it constantly. I have done ever since I was a boy and... Uh, <coughs> yeah. It's got to the point in my life where it annoys me now. <laughs> Every time I do it, every time I uh, like when I'm speaking to camera, etc., I can see myself frowning most of the time. It frustrates me. But 
Yeah, enough of waffling about anything. Not a sign. Have a drink, go and get the band. Get wrapped up nice and early. Yeah. And hopefully this afternoon come back. That would be nice. Well guys, as you can see, I'm in the van. Yeah, I thought I was being clever this morning. Um, when I got the van, pulled in the other car park, had a look over the fence in the other lake, see a few fish rolling, fish under the pads already on the top. I thought, yeah, this is it. Let's get over there for a few hours. Uh, no sooner had I stepped in the swim, they started spawning. So uh, yeah, here we are getting our breakfast and going home. So, well, that's short, guys. I hope you like the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. By all means, follow me, Adam Honeyset on Facebook, Adam Carp Honeyset on Instagram. And one thing's for sure, we'll be seeing you on the bank somewhere soon. Thanks for watching, guys. All the best.